Good morning, YouTubers. This morning I want to cover three topics, three related topics. They're all related to social justice. Harry and Meghan seem to become be becoming social justice warriors, and that's the brand, uh, certainly, that Meghan is going for, and I don't know if Harry is going for that, and we're going to look to see if Harry is on board completely or if it's really just Meghan, because everything in California, everything they do in California, everything they say, it just smacks of Meghan, Meghan, Meghan all the time, and Harry is just the royal handbag holder at this point. He went from a Prince of England and the, the most eligible bachelor on planet Earth to the royal handbag holder who can do nothing right and who deserves any criticism ladled out to him. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry working with civil rights groups to support a Facebook boycott. Throughout their lives, they've been both driven by an innate need to fight injustice, a source tells people. Okay. Meghan and Prince Harry are taking an active role in the fight against online hate speech. Who's against online hate speech? Everybody. No one's for that. Sources confirm to people that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been working behind the scenes to support the Stop Hate for Profit campaign. Well, that, that's catchy. Which calls on CEOs around the world to come together to temporarily pull their advertisements from Facebook. So no ads on Facebook, which has been criticized for years for showing all different types of political ads even those that contain lies and misinformation. Some political ads may not be completely accurate. So what are they actually saying? So Facebook is posting ads from across the political spectrum. Okay, and some of those ads may not be completely accurate. Okay, how can you tell if a politician is lying to you? Their lips are moving. Okay, no political ad is entirely truthful ever and that's on either side of the uh, that's on either side of blue or red okay now uh, they want to ban all they want people to not post any ads on Facebook for all of July because they don't like some of the ads that Facebook is posting What's that called? That's called fascism and censorship. This is directly against how America and the West, but particularly America and free speech works. Uh, and the reason this is basically Facebook is a Facebook can be either a common carrier or a publisher. Facebook is a common carrier, a common carrier uh, posts all opinions, they're a common carrier. They do not discriminate against this opinion or that opinion. Now, more and more and more, the social media giants are discriminating. And if they, now a publisher will curate their content. And you often see disclaimers from publisher, publishers. The, the opinions expressed here do not necessarily represent the opinions of the publisher. That's a publisher because a publisher can be sued for wrong opinions, for untruthful information. A common carrier cannot. So Facebook is protected as a common carrier. But the more they curate their content or discriminate against this content or that content, which anything that is not clearly hate speech, hate speech is a different category. Uh, but the more that they curate their content, the more they are open to lawsuits because they become a publisher. And this is happening at Twitter. This is happening at Google. This is happening. This is happening everywhere. And now it's happening at Facebook. So actually, Harry and Meghan are for censorship. It's it's really this is very disturbing to me. So I'm wondering. Is Harry completely behind this or is this just Megan? How successful will this campaign be? Will Facebook actually lose, you know, like 40% of ads in July? Or are people, you know, or is this bullying fascism? Is this not going to be successful? Another thing that they're doing is Harry and Megan reach out to Aletheia 
Althea Bernstein. Well, she sounds Jewish. She's half Jewish. A victim of an alleged hate crime. So she's a mixed race uh, woman. She's half Jewish, apparently. She's black and half Jewish. So what happened here? The Madison Police Department, Madison, Wisconsin, and the FBI are investigating the alleged assault of Bernstein, who is black as a hate crime after she told authorities that she was called a racist term sprayed with what what's believed to be lighter fluid on her neck and face and had a flaming lighter thrown at her by four white men in a car on Wednesday, June 24th. The EMT who is studying to be a firefighter and paramedic padded out the flames and was treated for second and third degree burns at a local hospital, but will need follow-up care. How interesting that she is a training to be a firefighter and a paramedic, so she's specifically trained to deal with these kinds of injuries. Inj injuries. So four strangers threw lighter fluid on her and then set her on fire in her car. Hmm. A, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these hate crimes are exposed very quickly as fake hate crimes. I'm thinking of jo Juicy Smollier, okay, who had a noose around his neck and bleach was thrown on him. And they, they said in Chicago of all places, they said, this is MAGA country. <laughs> Have you been to Chicago recently? It's not MAGA country. Uh, and then there was that lady in Georgia who claimed racism and she was some kind of political representative. There's film of it. Uh, and they didn't, uh, they didn't destroy her life, interestingly. So that was completely fake hate crime. So to jump into this so quickly, uh, could be a big mistake. And you notice other people are not jumping in and supporting Althea Bernstein because very frequently these things are proven to be false. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, and the final thing that they did is Harry and Markle, Harry and Meghan, they sported masks to help prepare meals for vulnerable people in L.A. The Sussexes visited the Homeboy Industries Bakery this week to volunteer with the Feed Hope program. So here's, here's the photo. Here's Megan and Harry. Their heads are covered. Their faces are covered. Literally nothing is showing. Now, Homeboy Industries is a great cause. It's, it's created, it's a bakery. It's run entirely and completely by ex-convicts in California. That's a great idea. I've done a lot of charitable work. But the question I have is, is this Harry and Meghan, or are these doubles? Let's take another look. There's another picture here. There's Harry. Okay, here's Harry. His face is a little short. Here's Meghan. He's got, his face is a little crunched together. So we're gonna check and see if these are actually Harry and Meghan, or if these are body doubles, because they love to send body. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. These look like doubles to me. Uh, this is Harry and Meghan. Uh, her face looks a little... They just don't look... I don't know. They both... His face looks too squat. Her face looks too small. Uh, Harry seems to have a longer face, but we'll take a look at that. So the first question is this, this Facebook boycott. They want all advertisers not to advertise in July. You know... Is, so Megan's here, Harry's here. So we'll put Megan here and Harry here. Is Harry on board for this? Is, or is this just the Megan show? It's all Megan and Harry's not really into it. Uh, and he's just not objecting. Harry's not really into it and he's just not objecting. So Megan, are they both on board? Megan. Look at that ten hearts. She always gets always gets ten hearts. Harry. Oh, interesting. Their brand is definitely becoming social justice. Okay, they're becoming ultimate lefty social justice warriors in California. That is what they're that's what they're painting themselves as. Do we have the Obamas screaming these things? Do we have Oprah screaming these things? No, we don't. But we do have Harry uh, 
and Megan screaming these things. So what do we have here on Megan's side? Official business, rise to the top, very emotional with all the people, 1925. This is the direction she's taking, absolutely. And it's purely emotional based. She's making a business out of emotions, okay? She's the new Ocasio-Cortez. So yeah, she feels this is the way she's gonna rise to the top is by playing these emotional social justice cards. Is Harry on board? Water into wine. Eight hearts and 10 hearts are the most emotional cards. Butterfly, very public, step by step, 13, four hearts. These are his people, okay? Yeah, he's aligning himself with the social justice crowd and the emotional narrative. So yeah, Harry is on board. Harry is completely on board. He's on board clearly with the climate change. He's a climate change advocate, right in line with Greta Thunberg. You know, doesn't know anything about it, doesn't speak intelligently on it, talks about his feelings, and flies private jets everywhere, Greta Thunberg. So, uh, and has absolutely no expertise in climate change and would only repeat what other people have told him. So this is the new thing, talking very emotionally about your feelings, about things you don't know anything about. And it seems like knowing stuff about it is a problem. The more you know about it, the less credible you are because you don't talk about your feelings. Okay, so he's on board. Eight, two spades, planting this. This is the direction they're starting. Two spades, they're departing from something. So they're both 100% on board. So they're trying to get how successful will this Facebook campaign to, uh, you know, block all advertisements on Facebook because they fascistly want to censor any opinions they disagree with because Facebook is acting according to its charter as a common carrier which protects it from you know it's like it's like a business okay you have to let everybody in you can't discriminate and if you do discriminate you know you say People with red hair can't come to my business. That is discrimination. You can get in a lot of trouble. Facebook, likewise, and all of these common carriers, if they say this kind of person or this kind of political ad or Republican ads can't post here, that is clearly discrimination. And they're not allowed to do that. And the law needs to come down on them very hard. So they're actually objecting to the fact that there are of political ads on Facebook that they disagree with. How dare someone post uh, an ad that they don't agree with? Well, I see a lot of ads that I don't agree with. And I see a lot of false information out. And I believe that anything that is just emotionally based is a lie. Okay, it has to be backed up by the truth, by facts. So how successful will this, will this Facebook campaign be? Will Facebook lose 40% or more of their ads in July? That would be a big deal. And it's really a campaign of bullying. The only reason advertisers would not advertise uh, in July would be because they would be afraid that the social justice crowd will come and smash their windows, uh, dox their businesses, uh, tell where their children go to school, physically attack them. That's, that's communism. That's fascism. That's really bad. That's not America. That's not American. So, why? Because America is based in freedom of speech. That's the strength of our system. Opposing views have equal time and people get to make up their own minds. And you don't get to call people terrible names because they disagree with you. So will Facebook lose 40% of its ads? Finger of God, outside influence, they're trying to push them across the spine. They're pushing right on the spine. Uh, the money, the, the stuff, the money, the advertisers is what makes Facebook possible. Without the advertisers, there's no money and there's no Facebook. 
Okay, so they're going, they're going right after the money. What makes the business a business? 14 and 5, 19, 5 clubs, they're trying to force them down a different path. So through outside influence, they're going right, they're going to break their spine, go right after and after them and try to force them into another, onto another path. And it's, it's working a lot. There's a lot of censorship in our society now. And all censorship is bad. Handcuffs, uh, commitment, and Trinity, everything working together. So I think the advertisers will try to work with them for change. Okay, so Coffin, Mother Earth, and Fox. 24, 28, 7 spades. Secrets, dead bodies in the box. Uh... Coffin can be just taking a break, taking a break uh, in the environment. Businesses taking a break. So there will be a fall off. There will be a fall off of ads in July, sadly. So this will work. This bullying tactic will work. There will be a fall off of ads in July. Will it be 40% or more? Well, this is a four. Uh, I don't see it catastrophic. Um, I think some businesses are going to succumb to the pressure. Okay, we have Harry and Meghan coming out very strongly for Althea Bernstein, the half-Jewish girl who claims that she was, that just random people, random white people threw uh lighter fluid on her and lit her on fire. Why didn't she just roll up her window? Why didn't she take her foot off the brake and move three inches? And then, you know, why didn't she race away? Uh, so many odd questions. So will, will Harry and Meghan get burned for uh, coming out so strongly very quickly? Because this could clearly, this could be, be debunked very quickly, even before this video gets out. You know, her claims could be debunked. But it's, you know, it's in a place where maybe there's no cameras. I don't know. Maybe no witnesses. Maybe no cameras. I don't know. Uh, so will they get burned? Will this be debunked? These claims. All right, player, player can be an actor running a play for sympathy, executioner. Executioner acts independently on their own, 24, 25, this direction. Uh, underneath, we have bad direction, bad reputation, mercury communication, man. So, 13, 22, 30, eight diamonds. Cornucopia. Hmm. So will they get burned by this? Well, executioner. Executioner can be organized crime. It's very executioner is very organized. Player is an actor, organized acting, uh, a decision to this looks like a fake hate crime to me. I'm kind of inclined to believe that this is a fake hate crime because Random people don't throw lighter fluid on people and then throw uh, lighters at them. They just don't do that. They do that to people that they know uh, if they really hate them. I mean, gangs do that. Gangs will do that. But you don't do that to random people on the street. It just doesn't happen. Okay, and one of the most famous hate crimes is that... Uh, I can't remember his name. It was a gay kid in in Oklahoma, and they they kidnapped him. They tied him to a tree. They dragged him on a road. Uh, he ended up dying tied to a fence post. They knew him. They knew this kid. They saw him around. They didn't like him, uh, and they murdered him very brutally. Uh, I forget his name. A uh, very very famous case in Oklahoma. So and. Yeah, before that, he was raped in Morocco. His family went to Morocco, and he was out at night alone, and they saw a blonde-haired kid, and they just raped him. 
Are they going to get burned? I, uh, bad reputation, executioner, communicating bad things, 2130. This, yeah, it's acting and uh, we'll do anything. We'll do anything to, we'll do anything. This looks like a fake hate crime. I think there's going to be egg on, on Harry and Meghan's face for coming out so quickly. You should let these things marinate a little bit and see if, you know, if, if they're true. So here we have the Homeboy Bakery. This seems like a great thing. All convicts, they only hire convicts, giving, uh, there's a lot of things wrong with the criminal <coughs> justice system in America. Uh, California has the highest repeat offender rate or recidivism rate in the country. It's like 70, it's over 70%. Seven out of 10 go back to prison. Boy, that's a broken system. Okay, so they're doing something to help. So that's a great thing. Are these body doubles? Are these Harry and Meghan body doubles? Hmm. I got to do them separately. So this is Meghan, this is Harry. Is this Megan? <laughs> Devil. Is this Harry? That's interesting. Are they sending out body doubles on us again? Because they're completely covered. Okay, is it Megan? Devil. Liar. No, she's a liar. This is an opportunity. Uh, 16, four spades, secrets. No, definitely not Megan. Is this Harry? 10 diamonds, royal family, solid foundation, 14, four diamonds. This actually is Harry. This is not Megan. Big change. Hmm. Let's just read this. Big change in the uh, royal family and the foundation. Big change in the family and the foundation. Hmm. I do think this is Harry. Uh, I don't think this is Megan. This is not Megan because we got the devil here. Uh, snake in the in the olive tree, uh, which is eighteen five diamonds. They do this all the time. Okay, they're tricking you. Uh, the snake is very tricky, very crafty, very clever. They're doing this all the time. They're sending out body doubles. All the time. Okay, and pretty much whenever we see Meghan and Harry wearing masks in public, there's a very high probability that this is not Meghan and Harry, that these are body doubles. Meghan is probably afraid of, uh, you know, the global bug and doesn't want to get it, but she wants credit for doing good work, so she sends her double out. It, this could possibly say that Harry, you know, a big change in the family and Harry, this wasn't Harry either. But this is definitely not Megan. Definitely not Megan. And they're doing it all the time. Will Facebook lose 40% of advertisements in July because of this pressure? Well, we have a four. They will have a drop off in ads in July. But I think overall... It looks pretty healthy, and of course, businesses hate this because businesses need to advertise, and Facebook needs the advertising, and there's nothing wrong with either of those things. So, and there's definitely not nothing wrong and everything right with opposing opinions getting equal time. And my whole life, you hear this, that the opposing views get equal time. They're trying to stop this. This is communism. This is fascism. This is, this is what all dictatorships do, is they silence opposing opinions. There's not many things worse than that. Uh, well, things can always get worse. They could go tearing down monuments everywhere you go. Oh, they're doing that. Okay. So, let's see. Is this supported by both Harry and Meghan? Yes, both Harry and Meghan support this cause. So I got to say they're mental midgets to support stuff like this because this is purely emotional and goes directly against how dare a British citizen uh, support censorship in America. That is, that's treason. So they're both in support of this for the emotional narrative. 
uh, are they going to get burned by the Althea Bernstein coming out in support of her? I think this is a faked hate crime. Uh, she'll do anything for, you know, to get her face out there. I think this is a fake hate crime. So they may or may not get burned, uh, even if they're completely wrong and they're proven to be wrong, it still may not burn them because they're on that side of the argument and the people on that side of the argument, they don't care if they're, they don't care about the facts. They care about the emotional argument. So they may not get burned, but I think it's a fake hate crime. So this homeboy bakery, is this Megan? Is this Harry? Definitely not Megan. Maybe not Harry. Maybe not Harry. I actually think Harry is in uh, the UK right now, but he could have flown back. But this, it's very, this can say big change in the foundation. This can say that, you know, there's been a big change in the marriage and he's not with her. Uh, or this could say this actually is Harry. Solid as a rock, it is Harry. But this is definitely not Megan, and could n maybe not be. I think Harry is in, and they're doing it all the time. So a lot of deception, a lot of deception going on with Harry and, and Megan. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, the Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who bought me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe.